Hi everybody, today I have a board game. It is for one to four players, ages eight and up. They say it'll take about 20 minutes, but that depends on you. Locomomo comes with everything you see here. There are four player boards, also called picture boards. There is a common forest board in the middle of the table. And then we have five different animals in three different habitats. There are rabbits and hawks, cats, ducks and bear and then the bag is full of more of these kind of tiles these are habitat and endangered species tiles they are used for advanced rules and these are posing animals which are also used for advanced rules there is a score pad and the instructions to set up the game make sure all of your animal tiles are in the bag and give it a good shake and mix then randomly pull out four sets of four tiles and arrange them on the forest board. You choose a first player and they get this camera token Every game takes place over six game days. You put the starting day marker on day number one in the forest board. The first player chooses an animal and moves it from one area of the forest to another. The place that you can move is determined by the type of animal that you choose. For example, the cats move counterclockwise one position. The bear don't move at all. The rabbits move clockwise in one position. The birds fly from one corner to the opposite corner. And the ducks will move clockwise to the next position that also has a duck. If there are no more ducks, the duck stays exactly where it is. When the animal you have chosen arrives to its destination, you pick up every other tile that matches the color of the chosen animal and you take all of those tiles and place them on your forest board. You can place them anywhere along the left side of the board, but it has to be farthest over to the left. For example, I'm going to take this brown rabbit and it moves clockwise to this area of the forest. And then I grab all brown tiles which just happen to be rabbits, but they don't have to be, and place them on my picture board. You can put these tiles anywhere you like on your picture board, as long as they are as far left as possible. For example, I have three rabbits. I can put them all on the same row, or I can put them all on the same column or a combination, but what I can't do is put them on the right side or anywhere in the middle. After I have all the tiles placed on my picture board, I refill the forest with as many animals as I removed. And then the next player takes their turn. Scoring is determined by how the animals are placed on the picture board. Now every row has a different goal. For example, the bottom row has a goal of being unique animals. So it is possible to put all the same animal on the bottom row, but the score won't be as high. However, the next row up does have a goal of being all the same animal. You don't have to have them all the same, but again, you maximize the score by achieving the goals of the row. These two rows only score if you match. And the top row only scores if there's a match in this row and the animal you place on top also matches this pair. The picture boards are double-sided. The first side is for a normal game and the opposite side is for the advanced rules game. There are two sets for the advanced rules. You can play one set or the other set or both sets together. For the first set of advanced rules, you choose one of the tiles that contain either a habitat or an animal. 
you take that tile and place it on the forest board and these are the animals or habitats you are trying to avoid using. You don't get penalized for using an endangered habitat or animal, but you do get a bonus if you have the fewest number of them on your picture board. Unlike the first advanced rule in which only one person gets the bonus, the second advanced rule can grant a bonus to every player that meets the objective. And that objective is to have a matching animal in the top right picture slot. And remember, in order to get a matching animal in this top right corner, you have to fill the entire row to get there. It might sound like there are a lot of scoring conditions to keep track of, and there are, but you get used to thinking in those terms, and it's really not that intimidating once you begin playing. I'm not certain that an eight-year-old child could master all of these rules, but to simplify it, you could make a house rule where you choose an animal from anywhere on the forest and move it to any other spot and basically just ignore the movement rules. Just pick an animal and match the color in any other quadrant. That would simplify it and maybe make it more accessible for younger children. Scoring is the most difficult part of the game, and that's just because there's math involved. You might want to have a calculator available. Locomomo is a fast playing game. In fact, you may find yourself playing several sessions because you'll realize something that didn't go quite right this game, and you want to try it again just to try out your new strategy. Locomomo is a good game to put in your suitcase when you're going on vacation. If the box isn't that big, it's easy to teach, and it's a fast play. There is a certain amount of luck involved. You are drawing tiles randomly from the bag, but it doesn't feel like a luck-based game. It's also not a game where you can think that far ahead. You can get a general idea of what you want to do while you're building your board, but you are at the mercy of what tiles are out there. This is definitely not a cooperative game, but it's also not a game where you can sabotage another player very easily. I suppose you could sabotage the player to your left at the expense of your own score, but what's the point of that? The artwork is attractive. The components themselves are not lavish or fancy, but they are quality and serve the purpose well. If you have friends that are interested in modern board games, Locomomo is a good gateway game that is fun for new and experienced players. Rating board games is obviously subjective, but I can't find any faults with Locomomo. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 star rating. Thanks for stopping by.